welcome back to After School Reviews. Today we're going to have a look at three figures here from Star Wars Black Series. So on the left here we have the Star Wars number five TIE Pilot figure. You can see that there. And in the middle we have Darth Vader, because I haven't reviewed this guy in a while. Or maybe I have, I just don't quite remember. And over here we have Jan Urso from Rogue One. So I figured... You know, I was going to do these, but I was like, well, he was a wrong one, so why not just go ahead and put all these three together? So we flip the side of the boxes. This one says 22. These don't say anything on them, except they're clear on this side, but they're black and blank on this side. And you can see a picture of Darth Vader there, and on the back of all of these, I can do that real fast. We can see a stripe on these. You don't see a stripe on those, but on the back of these, I think, is maybe a read-up. And a picture of the TIE Fighter pilot. Over here is a picture of Darth Vader in Revenge, or, uh, Return of the Jedi. And over there is a picture of Jyn Erso. So we'll have a look at these figures open and out of their packaging. Don't go anywhere. Here are the figures open and out of their packaging. We got Rogue One over here because it's Jen. We have these other three because it's Star Wars. So we're going to have a look first off at the TIE Fighter pilot. And have a look at his blaster. Pretty sure it's probably the same as all the other blasters we've seen from the Empire. I'm pretty sure an Imperial blaster, that's exactly what this looks like. Nothing different really with this one. No like metallic wash over, dry brush or anything like that. The front of the figure here, as you can see, the buttons on this thing are pretty nicely painted on there. Not too bad. And then the helmet here is actually done pretty nicely too as well with these metal or these uh, metallic logos here, even on the shoulder. And I think this shoulder too, yes. Also has a belt here that's metallic. So really uh, this thing is like black with mostly metallic on it. Or a chrome figure. It's kind of like black and chrome. Uh, it stands out. Oh, he also has a uh, holster. I didn't notice that. Okay. I, I'm figuring that's what that's for. Or it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, okay, so it looks a little funky in there, but it fits. And the hands here have these cool gloves right here, if you can see this. The, these cool looking gloves there, I don't know, I don't, oh, they don't swivel right there? Okay, but there's also more buttons there. Uh, this has like a, like a, well, it's not double jointed, but then it does kind of swivel too. You can kind of see the movement there. Back of the figure has just this cool, like, I don't know, maybe that's like armor, which looks really cool because you can't really see it from this front angle because this thing's in the way. But if you look at it, that looks like some armor there, which makes the figure look even cooler or more cool, whatever the word is for, because it looks like it's like an armor piece rather than this is all like cloth or something, a material and outfit. Pretty cool. TIE Fighter Pilot. I'm going to have a look at Darth Vader now. Darth Vader here. I know everybody does not like this head sculpt on this version. Because this is the version that has the removable helmet or whatever. It does look accurate. But I guess I don't notice that right now. Like it doesn't bother me. I never like have him for photos or anything. So it's the only thing I have. It really doesn't look like the actor. Like his Black Series or the Ghostbusters from Mattel. Like that's it. So it doesn't bother me much. And one thing that does bother me about this figure is the buttons are completely like, see how they're not even on the, there's a detail there uh, you can bring out, like, like there's etchings in there, or out of there, like they're nubbies kind of, but for some reason, when I guess they stickered this thing, it like moved, and so all these stickers kind of went this way, rather than this way. And so none of this stuff's like actually got paint on it. Like you can you can see it there. Like there's this supposed to be the silver, but it's on this side. And the buttons here, you can see the buttons there has got some blues and whites, and it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be in the button. With this being black series, it's pretty cool. You can remove the lightsabers. I think that's cool with these figures. I like that. The belt here on this side, I don't think has any problem. Green and chrome's on there, the green and silver, the silver right there looks pretty good. The boots, I love his uh, his boots thingies, they're pretty cool. I guess you wouldn't call them shoes, I guess it's outfit shoes. I don't know, but look pretty cool. If I can get them to focus, they 
I mean, you can probably figure out what these look like, but they look really cool. And then the crotch piece here looks pretty fine. Back, there's really nothing going on. And then up here, the shoulder pieces. Then the knees. I do like how these all have, I think, double jointed knees. I wish they did that with the arms, but they don't do that with the arms. I don't know if they do that now or anything. I don't know. I don't think so yet. So you can see that there with the brownish. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like a reddish. It looks kind of red on camera. It does not. But uh, what happens here is this top part comes out. And you can kind of see the detail in there. And then this thing will reveal a little bit of the back. And then when you pop this out, you can see Anakin Skywalker inside. If I can get this to focus. You can see that there. It's even got kind of like a wash or a dry brush over those areas. I'm trying to get this thing to focus really nice. It's not one to work though. I got it to focus. You can kind of see that there. You can see the, like the scratching and wrinkles there. He has eyebrows. I just now realized that. They have sculpted eyebrows, I think, on there, and you can see them, but I, in the movie, he does not have eyebrows. In the special edition, like in the Blu-rays of 2011 or something like that, he does not have eyebrows. The head's also in a ball joint, just like all the other figures, but it's a little bit limited due to its Darth Vader's head. Get a look at Jin Erso here. I think the head sculpt's okay. This one's really tiny. I think I paid like $13 for her at GameStop, and I got Kylo Ren 2 for 13 bucks. And I was really surprised, because Rogue One had just come out like a month later, or earlier. And I was just like, oh, okay. And it wasn't even on Blu-ray yet, so it was really weird. I mean, it looks kind of like her. Like, at this angle, it looks like Jen Erso, or the actor. I don't know what the crap the actor's name was, but it looks like the, looked like her. Uh, her jacket here has some wrinkle-looking things on it. Stripes. I think that looks pretty cool with the texture. There's some silver things in there. It's not painted there. An injury and injury painted thing there on the pocket as well. Some more nice paints there. She even has a holster with a little like little strap thing that closes, and I think that's really cool. Because some of the NECA figures don't do that. The T-1000s, they don't do that. They're, they might be supposed to, but they don't do it. They don't reach all the way. Her jackets also have this, like, a... I think that, that it reminds me of the Han Solo Hawk outfit. Because it's got, like, the stripes. And then she also has some gloves on. And also the strap here has another strap piece there. And then her feet here are kind of interesting. You can kind of see that there. I don't know if that's supposed to be a shoe or what, because that's a different color. I guess that's supposed to be like a sock or something. Can't get that to focus. And the pants up here have like a weird rough texture. You can see that there. But with this figure, something that's nice is you can actually pop the uh, this thing off. Because she's not wearing that the whole movie. I don't even know if she's supposed to be taking this off, but it takes off. Like in that scene right there, on Rogue One, she's not wearing the hood on. She's wearing the, the scarf, but she's not wearing the hood over. So, if you just, if we, you know, just slowly, there we go. I think that looks a lot better, and then you can see the hair, and more of just her face. I mean, it looks just a lot better. And then the pistol fits in her hand nicely. So, that was my review of a Black Series Jin Erso from Jetta. Sergeant Jin Erso from Jetta. A number two Black Series Darth Vader. And a number five Black Series TIE Fighter Pilot. So, thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.